At the latest SpaceX event, Elon Musk made a jaw-dropping announcement. Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus, is heading to Mars. Yes, really. As part of the 2026 mission to the Red Planet, multiple Optimus units will be on board with one mission, prepare Mars for human colonization. What once sounded like science fiction is now becoming tangible. The timeline? Launch in late 2026, arrival in early 2027. This isn't a future prediction. It's a countdown. Why send a robot before a human? The Martian reality check. Mars is not a place you want to send people unprepared. Its atmosphere is thin, with barely 1% of Earth's pressure. Temperatures can plummet to minus 100 degrees Celsius. Radiation levels are dangerously high. And then there's the dust, fine, invasive, and capable of crippling sensitive equipment. Before we even think about humans setting up camp, we need pioneers to do the hard, hazardous work. And those pioneers are robots. Optimus, from assembly line to interplanetary pioneer. Optimus was originally built for factory labor, tasks like sorting, carrying, or repetitive motion work. But it's evolved fast. In just a couple of years, we've seen Tesla's humanoid go from barely standing to walking, navigating, and using its fingers to handle delicate materials. In its latest demonstrations, it's walking untethered, responding to its environment, and learning tasks through imitation and neural networks. The Mars version of Optimus will need more than walking ability. It'll need autonomy, durability, and versatility. It must survive extremes and adapt in real time, with no direct human oversight. Commands from Earth take anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes to reach Mars. That delay makes remote control nearly impossible. Which means Optimus will need to think for itself. End-to-end -end AI, what sets Optimus apart? Optimus is powered by the same full-stack AI that runs Tesla's autonomous driving software. It's trained on massive datasets using real-world inputs, simulated feedback loops, and reinforcement learning. Its brain is a neural net that's learning not just how to move, but how to understand. This AI-first approach makes Optimus unique among humanoids. It's not just mimicking motion. It's building a representation of the world it can act within. This autonomy is exactly what Mars demands. Optimus won't be taking orders. It'll be making decisions, navigating terrain, identifying materials, and responding to unpredictable conditions. It's not a Mars rover on wheels. It's a mobile worker that could assemble shelters, deploy solar panels, or dig trenches for life support infrastructure. The bigger picture, what about the other humanoids? If Tesla Optimus is going to Mars, a natural question follows, could other robots follow suit? Let's look at two of the most advanced humanoids in the world today, Boston Dynamics Atlas and Figure 02, and explore whether they might join the space race. Boston Dynamics Atlas, a legend in motion. Atlas has long been the poster child for humanoid robotics. Its park hour routines, backflips, and obstacle runs have wowed millions. It's fast, strong, and extremely agile. But Atlas is powered largely by scripted movement. While it looks fluid, much of its behavior is pre-programmed for specific environments. That makes it incredible for demonstrations and controlled conditions, but less suited to the kind of dynamic problem-solving Mars demands. That said, Boston Dynamics the next-generation Atlas that uses electric actuators has a slimmer profile and features a broader range of motion. If that robot is paired with advanced AI, perhaps from Boston Dynamics' parent company, Hyundai, it's not impossible to imagine a version of Atlas contributing to planetary exploration someday. But the current Atlas is more gymnast than construction worker. Figure 02, the quiet competitor with big ambitions. Then there's Figure, the California-based startup that seemingly came out of nowhere and is now being taken very seriously. Figure 02, their flagship humanoid, has made major strides in a short time, walking, grasping objects, and even holding basic conversations through AI interfaces. Figure is backed by OpenAI and Microsoft, among others, and its long-term vision is planetary scale deployment. Could we see Figure 02, or its successor, head to Mars? Absolutely. 
Figure's team has been explicit about wanting their robots to work in dangerous environments, including space. If Tesla sets the precedent, companies like Figure will follow. And because Figure's platform is being developed with modularity and industrial-grade hardware, it's likely adaptable to harsh extraterrestrial conditions. A new era, space-rated humanoids. What we're witnessing isn't just a Tesla project. It's the emergence of an entirely new industry, space-rated humanoid robotics. For decades, robots in space have mostly meant rovers, arms, or drones. Now we're looking at full-bodied machines, walking and working on alien worlds. These humanoids could handle outpost setup, scientific instrumentation, repair missions, or emergency response long before the first astronaut arrives. Optimus may be the first, but it won't be the last. Space agencies like NASA and ESA are likely watching closely. In fact, NASA's own Valkyrie humanoid project was once aimed at Mars, but never left Earth. Private companies might beat them to it. Why Mars changes everything for robotics? Mars isn't just a destination. It's a pressure cooker for innovation. To survive there, robots must be efficient, autonomous, resilient, and adaptable. Those same traits make them valuable back on Earth. A robot that can function on Mars can certainly handle a collapsed building, a wildfire zone, a nuclear reactor, or a remote mining outpost. Space drives convergence between software and hardware, between human needs and robotic solutions. Synergy, Tesla plus SpaceX equals robotic deployment at scale. Let's not overlook what makes Tesla uniquely positioned. It's not just building the robot. It also owns the rocket. With SpaceX's Starship, Optimus can be delivered to Mars in large numbers. This is the first time in history that the same entity is developing both the payload and the delivery system. That kind of vertical integration means lower cost, faster iteration, and complete mission control. Starship can carry over 100 tons of cargo to Mars. That's enough to send entire robot teams, support hardware, and maybe even mobile charging stations or prefab habitats. Optimus isn't a one-off, it could be a workforce. Public perception will shift overnight. The first time the world sees a humanoid robot walking on Martian soil, public perception of robots will change instantly. No longer just tools or sci-fi tropes, robots will be recognized as pioneers. That image of a humanoid standing on a red plane, framed by a distant sun and rocky horizon, will become iconic. It will inspire a generation. We're watching the birth of the interplanetary worker class. This isn't about replacing humans. It's about protecting them. Robots like Optimus, Atlas, and Figure 02 could become our pathfinders. They'll build the scaffolding for our future in space, one solar panel, one data relay, one habitat frame at a time. This is the beginning of an interplanetary worker class. And it's starting now. Final thought, who will be first, and who will be best? Optimus has the inside track, but the race is only beginning. With billions pouring into humanoid robotics, don't be surprised if the next mission to Mars includes more than one brand. Tesla may be first. Figure may be fastest. Boston Dynamics may be the most agile. But the real winners? Humanity, and the machines we're sending ahead of us.